This is what I'm wearing to church. This is my Butterick pajama set. But I am wearing this to church today and I think I'm gonna put some sandals with it. I just came in from the grocery store so I had this recipe pulled up I was gonna make some meatballs and I went to get all the ingredients and then when I got to the store I saw this and I was like oh my goodness here's some meatballs fresh meat already prepared I was like yes I'm going with that I'm gonna go ahead and put these meatballs in the oven and make a little salad on the side and that's gonna be dinner I really should take these clothes off because they are white, but I want to get this dinner done. So I'm just going to put this apron oh, oh, okay. I thought I had it on backwards. I'm going to just put this apron on that I made years ago. And I'm going to roll my sleeves up and just get busy and hope and pray I don't get anything on my pajamas. <laughs> It's rated as easy and I'm planning to cut out a size 8 and I don't know if I'll get started today but I'll share with you what I picked up. On my way home I stopped to get something to eat. I was standing at the counter, I paid for my food and the lady behind the counter was giving me my card back. So as I took my card back, I got ready to turn and I looked up and my eyes met with the young lady that was behind me. She looked at me and she said, you look soft. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this knit set and the pants are McCall's. The top is a Vogue pattern. It is in this really soft fabric. I don't know if the young lady was giving me a compliment or not, but I just said, thank you. I went to Fabric Outlet and Crafts. This is the Nomi pattern. And I picked up this faux linen in this pretty green color. And I also picked up some knit fabric. So I got three yards of this and then three and a quarter yards of this, which is how much it takes to make the size eight in this view B here, the long view. There are 10 pattern pieces to cut out for view B. However, one and one A will be placed together to be one piece and the same with four and four A, you will put them together. So this is a piece that gets attached and taped to this and the same here, this is separated at first and then you put it together. So essentially, I guess you will have eight pieces. Exhausted from this. And the only thing we could tell him was this. How do you eat an elephant? If I were gonna eat an elephant, how would you do it? And, and the answer is one bite at a time. Like there's a big elephant. You can't just shove the whole elephant in your mouth. Like it's one tiny little bite at a time. And some of you that feel like you're just so overwhelmed with life, you need to start making a checklist and do one thing until it's done and check it off. And not get overwhelmed by the rest until it's just one thing at a time, one bite of the elephant at a time. Instead of looking at all the things, the whole elephant that you have to do in one day, just take a, a foot or a toe or a tail or something of that elephant and do it. And, and then you're gonna have to train yourself to say, you know what, I can, I, I'm a human being and I can only do this much. And just work to get what you can get done for that day. I looked at the finished length for view B, the jumpsuit, and it is over 56 inches long. So that would be a little bit too long for me. So I ended up taking off two and a quarter inches off of the pattern. So I just cut it right along the bottom 
of each extension piece. And that way I can save a little fabric because I know that 56 inches would just be like dragging on the floor. I just finished with the burrito method, turned everything out. There is a pleat in the back of the jumpsuit. Step number two has you reinforce the front and then clip to the dot. I didn't do that. What I'm going to do is just stitch the placket on first. So one placket goes on each side. I will stitch the placket down to the dot and then I'm going to clip to the dot on each side after the placket is sewn on. The jumpsuit does have side pockets and then I did decide to add these two pockets to the back. I am really loving this green. I don't have very many garments that are this color. I do have one bodysuit that I can think of and I don't wear it as much as I probably should. But yeah, I'm loving this color for sure. I'm just about ready to stitch my placket. If you clip into the front corner like the pattern suggests in step number two, then you would have something that looks like this. So I clipped to the dot then when you open it up you'll have something that looks like this so you have your seam allowance here in the middle and then you'll have a triangle right there okay and then you're supposed to take your placket piece and you have a dot here and that dot should line up with the dot on the front piece and then you will stitch your placket down from the top. This is just a little sample. Now you will have this clip here. So when you're stitching, you just have to be mindful that you have this clip here. So remember, I did not clip to my dot. By me not clipping to the dot, I will just line this up, matching the dots, stitch down, and then I don't have to worry about that split or that cut in the fabric as I'm stitching. I can just stitch straight down and not worry about that. And then after I stitch both sides, so I'll do this side and then with the other placket piece, I'll do the other side, stitch that down. And then once I'm done stitching, then I will clip to the dot. I have the placket pinned to the wrong side of the front and there's a dot here and it matches with the dot underneath. And now I'm going to stitch from the top of the placket down to the dot and then back stitch. And I'll do that on this side and also the opposite side. Now I have both placket's stitched down and now I can go in and clip from the corner over to the dot this side and this side from the corner over to the dot. I folded the placket over to the right side of the jumpsuit and then I did an edge stitch all the way down on each side. This side and this side. I just made my first little covered button. So I bought this kit and it does have a button pattern on the back so I cut that out. Then I trace this onto some fabric and I cut out six little circles because I'm going to make six buttons. The pattern calls for seven buttons. There's a button that goes on the collar and I've decided not to use that button. You have this mold comes in the kit and I just took the fabric and I placed it over the mold and then I took this little piece what is it? It's called a button shell. I'm reading the directions on the back of the button kit. Take the mold and press it in. Maybe I should do this flat. Okay, take the mold, press it in. And then push your fabric inside. And get it in there. Then you take the shank part of the button 
and press that down inside. This didn't work for me the first time I did it. I was like, what is going on? But then I finally got it to work. So let me press this in. Wait, it's coming out. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, wait, okay, I think I had two things attached. Okay, so push that in. This shank seems, oh, this one is broken. Oh my goodness. The thing came off. Okay, let me pick a different one, shank. All right, so press, oh wait, there are two connected. Just want one. Put that inside, press it down. Maybe it broke because it was connected to the other one. Press it down. Can't tell if it's in there really well or not. Looks like it's, uh, is it in there? No, it's kind of loose. What am I doing wrong? Pressing it down. This looks so easy when, oh wait, I think it's in there now. Okay. And then, once it's in there, you're supposed to just take it out of the mold. Okay, let's see. This doesn't feel very secure, but we'll see. Nope, it's not in there. Why am I having trouble? Put this in here. Put the back on. Let me put it on a hard surface. Put it in there. Oh, the pusher. I need the pusher. That will help. Okay. There we go. Maybe that's what the ticket was. Yes, of course that's what it was. The pusher. Okay, so now it's in there. And then I'm going to take it out of the mold. The mold is like kind of rubbery, so... the pusher I needed this okay so I am going to go ahead and make six more no not six more four more there we go I jumped ahead to make the buttons but the actual next step for me is sewing the neck band or the collar onto the jumpsuit so I have it pinned and now I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch it on. The pattern will tell you to put your pins on the outside when it's time to stitch the collar down to close the seam so that it's not exposed. I put the pins on the inside of the collar instead of on the outside. And then what I do is just stitch in the ditch on the outside with the pins in, and then I just go very slowly over the pins and then on the inside it catches the bottom edge. This is the seam that I just stitched and this is how it looks on the collar. Mm -hmm. 